Good day. Kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. In this video for grade 10 mathematics, we will talk about the remainder theorem and factor theorem. So, pag-usapan muna natin ang remainder theorem. If the polynomial P of X is divided by X minus C, then the remainder is P of C. The remainder theorem states that P of C is the remainder when the polynomial P of X is divided by C, uh, sorry, X minus C. The divisor X minus C is then restated as X is equal to C. Okay, in our first example, P of X is equal to X cubed plus 4X squared plus 3X minus 2 divided by X minus 3. Okay, yung x minus 3 natin, iyon yung ating divisor na may format na x minus c. So, ibig sabihin ng value ng ating c dito is 3 since ang given format is x minus c. So, x minus and then c is positive 3. Okay, so for our solution, ang gagawin lang natin in remainder theorem is aalamin natin ano yung remainder by substituting the given value of c in our given polynomial or function. Okay, so let us substitute the value of x which is 3 in our given polynomial. So that will become p of 3 or yung p of x natin since may value tayo ng x which is 3 so pinalitan lang natin ng 3 or nagsubstitute lang tayo equals, so yung mga val variable na x is uh, sinubstitute natin or pinalitan natin ng 3 so magiging 3 cubed plus 4 times 3 squared plus 3 times 3 minus 2. Minus 2. So, kung mapapansin nyo yung mga variable x ay napalitan na ng number 3 which is yung ating c or constant. Okay, so let us now simplify. 3 cube is 3 times 3 times 3. Hindi po siya 3 times 3 lang. Okay, so imumultiply natin ang 3 ng tatlong beses sa sarili niya. Ganon din yung 3 squared. So, dalawang beses sa sarili niya. So, let us now simplify. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, plus, bring down 4, and then 3 squared is 3 times 3, so that is 9, plus 3 times 3 minus 2. Next is the multiplication. So, kapag nagsisimplify kayo ng isang expression or polynomial or maraming numbers, kailangan sundin ang PEMDAS rule na kung saan uunahin ang nasa loob ng parentheses, expression or exponent, and then susundan ng multiplication or division, addition or subtraction. So dito, unahin natin ang multiplication or yung MDAS. So multiply muna yung 4 at 9 at yung 3 sa 3 bago tayo mag-add or mag-subtract. Okay, so 4 times 9 is 36 and 3 times 3 is 9. So binring down lang natin yung minus 2 at yung 27 plus. Next is... Since magkakasama na yung plus or yung addition at subtraction, kung ano yung nauna sa listahan or yung nauna dito sa ating expression, iyon yung una nating isoso. So, ang gagawin natin is i-add na natin lahat ng mga numbers dito. So, 27 plus 36 plus 9. So, that is equal to 72 minus 2. So, P of 3 is equal to 70. So, that is the remainder. So, para malaman natin kung tama ba yung nakuha nating sagot na 70 as remainder, gagamitin natin yung synthetic division. So, synthetic division, ang gagawin lang natin is isusulat natin yung mga numerical coefficient ng bawat terms. Okay, so yung x cubed ay wala kayo nakikita ang numerical coefficient dito, automatic, that is 1. And then, yung positive 4x squared ay may numerical coefficient na 4. Ang 3x naman ay may numerical coefficient na 3 at yung negative 2, iyon yung ating constant. Okay, next is maglagay tayo ng letter L dito. Dito natin ilalagay yung um, term ng ating divisor which is positive 3. Okay, next is apply the process of addition. So, sa synthetic division, ang una natin gagawin is i-bring down natin yung unang number. So, that is 1. And then, yung 1, imumultiply natin sa 3. So, 1 times 3 is 3. Ilalagay naman natin ito sa baba ng 4. And then, i-add lang natin 4 plus 3 is 7. And then, uh, paulit-ulit na yung process. So, 7 times 3. 
and then plus. Okay, 7 times 3 is 21. And then 3 plus 21 is 24. And then ganun pa rin. 24 times 3 is 72. Negative 2 plus 72 since magkaiba sila ng sign. So minus natin. And then copy the sign of the bigger number. So 72 minus 2 is 70. Therefore 70, iyon yung ating remainder. Another example, we have p of x is equal to x to the 4th power minus 16x cubed plus 18x squared minus 128 divided by x plus 2. Again, yung ating divisor ay x plus 2 na may format na x minus c. So, since meron tayong plus dito, so since ang format natin ay x minus c, therefore magbabago yung value ng c natin dito or ng ating 2. So, that will become x is equal to negative 2. Pero kung ang nakalagay dito is x minus 2, ibig sabihin ang value na ng c natin is yung positive. Pero since plus yung gitna ng ating divisor, so that will become negative 2 at iyon yung value ng x. So ganun pa rin ang gagawin natin. Yung negative 2 o yung value ng x na negative 2 is isa substitute lang natin sa bawat variable or letters na nasa ating uh, function or polynomial. So, that will become P of negative 2 is equal to negative 2 raised to 4 minus 16 times the quantity of negative 2 cubed plus 18 times negative 2 squared minus 128. Hindi tayo naglagay dito ng negative 2 since wala tayo nakikitang variable x dito sa ating constant. Okay, so ganun pa rin ang gagawin natin. Simplify lang. Negative 2 raised to 4 is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, times negative 2. Naglagay tayo ng parenthesis sa, o nilagay natin sa loob ng parenthesis ang negative 2 para hindi tayo malito sa negative sign. Kasi kapag walang parenthesis ang negative 2, automatic ang magiging sagot natin dito ay negative or hindi may isama ang negative sign sa solution. Okay, so negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 16. And then, kopyan lang natin yung minus 16. And then, negative 2 cubed is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. And that is negative 8. Plus, bring down yung 18. And then, negative 2 squared is positive 4. And then, bring down neg uh, minus 128. Okay, next is to apply the MDAS or PEMDAS. So, i-multiply muna natin yung 16 at yung negative 8 at yung 18 at 4. So, that will become... Ah, uh, sorry, negative 16 and negative 8. Okay, so that will become 16 plus 128 plus 72 minus 128. So, kapag nagmumultiply tayo ng magkatulad ng sign, halimbawa, negative times negative, that is positive. Positive times positive is negative. Pero kapag magkaiba sila ng sign, automatic the answer is negative. Okay, so proceed naman tayo sa addition bago natin i-minus, so 128. So, 16 plus 128 plus 72 is 216 minus 128. So, P of negative 2 is equal to 88 at iyan dapat ang ating remainder. Okay, for checking, gamitin natin ang synthetic division. So, gamitin natin um, or isulat natin ang mga numerical coefficients ng ating function or polynomial. So, ang numerical coefficient ng x to the 4th power is 1. Since wala nakalagay na number dito, automatic that is 1. And then, negative sixteen x cubed is negative sixteen. Positive eighteen x squared is eighteen. And then, um, wala kayo na kikita dito na may variable x lamang or may exponent na one. So maglalagay tayo ng zero. So kanatay susundan ng negative one hundred twenty eight. Dahil sa given polynomial or function, kailangan pa baba yung exponent ng bawat variable. So meron tayong four, three, two. And then, walang 1 dito, so lalagyan natin ng 0 doon sa part niya. Okay, so ganun pa rin, maglagay tayo ng letter L. And then, dito natin ilalagay yung value ng x natin, which is negative 2. And then, maglagay ng line, and then plus. So, first step again is to bring down 1. And then, i-multiply natin sa negative 2. So, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. And then, i-add natin negative 6 plus negative 2 is negative 18. And then multiply ulit, negative 18 times negative 2 is positive 36. And then he add, 18 plus 36 is 54. 
and then times negative 2, so that is negative 108, plus 0, so that is negative 108, times negative 2, that is positive 216. So, again, magkaiba sila ng sign, so ima-minus natin, and then copy the sign of the bigger number. And then, 216 plus negative 128, that is 88. At yung 88 natin, iyon yung ating remainder. Proceed naman tayo sa factor theorem. If the remainder comes out to be 0, then x minus c is a factor of p of x. A zero remainder obtained when applied using the remainder theorem will give rise to another theorem called the factor theorem. This is a test to find if a polynomial is a factor of another polynomial. The factor theorem states that if p of x is a polynomial and p of c is equal to zero, then x minus c is a factor of p of x. Second, if p of x is a polynomial and x minus c is a factor of p of x, then p of c is equal to 0. So, ginagamit natin ang factor theorem para malaman natin kung ang given factor nga ba ay isa sa mga factors ng isang polynomial or ng isang functions. Okay, so for our example, p of x is equal to x cubed minus x squared minus 4x plus 4 divided by x minus 2. So again, ang format ng ating divisor ay x minus c. So ang value ng ating c dito is positive 2. So for our solution, ganun pa rin ang gagawin natin. We will just substitute the given value of x in our given polynomial. So yung mga x dito or yung mga variable x dito ay papalitan natin ng 2. So that will become p of 2 is equal to 2 cubed minus 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 4. Okay, 2 cube, again, 2 cube is not 2 times 3, that is 2 times 2 times 2. So, 2 cube is equal to 8, minus 2 squared is equal to 4, minus 4 times 2 is 8, and then plus 4. So, dito, kung ano ang unang naiisulat, iyon yung una nating isoso. So, simulan natin sa 8 minus 4 minus 8, so that is 8 minus 4 is 4. And then, i-bring down lang natin yung minus 8 plus 4. So, 4 minus 8 is negative 4. And then, plus 4. So, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. And that is the remainder of our given polynomial. So, para malaman natin na 0 nga ang remainder ng ating polynomial na ito kapag dinivide, so, we will use the synthetic division. So, isulat ang mga numerical coefficient. So, x cubed, walang nakalagay na numerical coefficient dito. Automatic, that is 1. And then, negative x squared is negative 1. Negative 4x is negative 4. And the constant is positive 4. Maglagay ng L, ilagay dito ang ating divisor, which is the value of x, and that is 2. And then, line, and then plus. So, again, bring down the first number. So, that is 1. I-multiply natin sa 2. So, 1 times 2 is 2. And then, negative 1 plus 2, since magkaiba ng sign, ima-minus. And then, copy the sign of the bigger number. So, negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1. And then, imumultiply ulit natin sa 2. So, 1 times 2 is positive 2. And then, negative 4 plus 2, ima-minus ulit dahil magkaiba sila ng sign. So, that is negative 2. So, bakit naging negative yung sign ng 2 dito? Ito ay dahil negative ang 4 natin. And that is the bigger number. So, that is negative 2. So, imultiply ulit sa 2. Negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. And then, again, magkaiba ng sign, i-minus, 4 minus 4 is 0, and 0 is our remainder. Another example, p of x is equal to 2x cubed plus x squared minus 13x plus 6 divided by x minus 3. So, again, ang format ng ating divisor is x minus c. So, since plus yung nakalagay dito, ibig sabihin yung 3 natin dito ay magiging negative. Okay, so for our solution, yung value natin na negative 3 ng x ay isa-substitute natin sa mga letter x o sa mga variable x. So that will become p of negative 3 is equal to 2 times negative 3 cubed plus negative 3 squared minus 13 times negative 3 plus 6. And then simplify, negative 3 cubed is same as negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. And then, yung negative 3 squared naman is negative 3 times negative 3. Okay, so let us now simplify. 
2 times negative 3 cubed is equal to negative 54 plus negative 3 squared or negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And then negative 13 times negative 3 is positive 39. And then bring down plus 6. Next is to simplify. Negative 54 plus 9 is negative 45. And then bring down plus 39 plus 6. And then negative 45 plus 39, magkaiba ng sign katulad nito. So, ima-minus natin. So, negative 49 plus 39 is negative 6 plus 6. So, P of negative 3 is 0 and that is the remainder. So, for our checking, use the synthetic division. So, isulat ulit ang mga numerical coefficients. So, ang numerical coefficient ng 2x cubed is 2. Numerical coefficient ng x squared is 1. And then, negative 13x is negative 13. And then, the constant is 6. Okay. So, for our divisor, the value of x is negative 3. Nagyan ng line and then addition. So, again, the first step is to bring down the first number which is 2. I-multiply sa negative 3 at dito ilalagay yung product. So, 2 times negative, negative 3 is negative 6. And then, magkaiba ng sign. So, i-minus natin. 1 minus 6, that is negative 5. And then, negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. Magkaiba ulit ng sign, so i-minus natin. 15 minus 13 is positive 2 since a uh, bigger number ang 15 and that is positive. And then, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then, i-minus ulit natin since magkaiba ng sign. So, the answer is 0 and that is the remainder. So, let us now summarize what we have learned about this lesson. Remainder theorem, if the polynomial P of X is divided by X minus C, then the remainder is P of C. And then for the factor theorem, if the remainder comes out to be 0, then X minus C is a factor of P of X. Sana ay nakatulong ang video na ito sa inyong lesson. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!